Thank you very much, Cody. Having tons of fun with these guys. Later today, the kickoff ball will enter its final leg of its trip as it goes to the new stadium. Along the way, it's going to get a bunch of special escorts, including former Bombers, uh, the gentlemen with, uh, with plenty of rings, most of which they couldn't even bring. There's so many rings they couldn't carry them all. Three Grey Cups, both in the top 20 of all time for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Trevor Kennard, Kennard and uh, Bob Cameron joining us. Guys, we want to talk a little bit. We're so pleased to have you here. It's always fun to talk to you guys. Uh, let's talk a little bit how the alumni is getting behind this kickoff run. Why is it important to the Bomber alumni to be part of this? Well, I, I'll start, I guess. Uh, uh, first of all, it's, it's Manitoba's team. It's Manitoba's team. It's the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, but the whole province is just immersed in Bomber history and, uh, and tradition. So what we did, or what the football club did, uh, led actually by Marnie Strath and, and Jerry Maslowski, is uh, in Portage of Prairie, in Brandon, in Selkirk, Gimli, Steinbeck, Morden Winkler, Altona. There were uh, a kickoff run in, in every one of those communities, uh, and, and, and today it's Winnipeg. Uh, and we had Bomber alumni at every one. There was about four or five uh, former players at each one signing autographs. Uh, the Grey Cup was there at each one. Yep. Uh, President CEO Garth Butchko was there. Uh, Commissioner Mark Cohan is here today. And uh, we, we encourage all the Bomber fans to come out at the legislature today at 8.30 it starts. Yep. Uh, then roughly uh, Canada and Polar Park at around 10 o'clock. And then at 1.30 at the Pemina Village Safeway. And then on the way to Investors Group Field, where a special guest uh, apparently is going to be carrying carrying the ball in. And we, we, we're not going to say what's going on with who, because, well, I'll be honest, I don't have no clue who it is. But we got we, special We don't either, there. actually. Oh, really? No. I assume they would have filled you guys in yeah. there, Bob. No um, one knows. But this is, a, this is a big deal. Like you said, it's the entire province That's that comes right. together on this yes. one. So, uh, so Bob, what are, what are your thoughts? What are your memories when you think about uh, your great cups, your teams, and what the Bombers meant to you? Well, I mean, it's been my life, really. I, when I came here in 1980, and, and uh, Trevor and I were together in, in three of those Grey Cup championship teams, and Trevor never lost a championship. I, I won three and lost three, <laughs> unfortunately. So I know what the other side's like as well. But I mean, um, just being part of the Winnipeg Blue Bomber tradition, um, I played for 20 to, 20 to three years, and um, you know, it was just a, a thrill for me um, to be on the field playing with the Bombers, and then um, every, every time we got to the Grey Cup with Trev and to win them, it's um, it's something you it's a bond for the rest of your life with the players that you play with uh, we get together I haven't seen them for years I mean it's like it was yesterday yeah and I think right. the fans sort of feel the same sort of thing you know with the players that were part of those teams so I'm looking forward hopefully with the uh, the teams and the, the future teams can can take some of what we give talk to them and tell them about the uh, those those days that they can come on and, and uh, turn this thing around and win some great cups. Well, let's, let's talk about that because, uh, you know, one of the great things is the connection with the history and the future of the Bombers, yeah. especially with this kickoff run. So, so, Trev, what advice would you give guys who are going to walk into a huge crowd yeah. in a new stadium, kicking off the CFL season? How do you advise them when it comes to handling nerves? Well, uh, I'm a big fan of 1960s rock. And there's a singer, uh, her name is Dusty Springfield, yes. who had a song, Wishing and Hoping. Yeah, yeah. And that's exactly what the Bomber football fans are thinking right now, is yeah. Wishing and Hoping. However, the players have to go out there and expect to win. You have to expect to win. You can't hope to play well, you can't hope to do well. And as Bob is saying, uh, the teams where we won great cups are really most of our careers, uh, you would go into the first league game knowing, knowing you're going to win, um, just e e e expecting to win. And uh, I'd like to see a little bit some of the some of the swagger that we had in in 2011 come back. Uh, take no prisoners. Yep. Uh, don't give the Montreal Alouettes any respect. Get out there and kick their butts. Do or do not. There is no try. It's as simple exactly. as that. You if you want to be part of history, which is of course this kickoff run, uh, the route for the map, uh, the map for the route, and all the details on how you can participate and be a witness to this big event is going to be on BreakfastTelevision.ca. It is always nice to see you guys here. Thanks for having Thanks, us. Jerry. Coming up, another couple of bombers as well as we get uh, Avi Khan and uh, Kelly Butler going to join us with their thoughts on the big game. But Drew Kozub's on location and he's got some ideas when it comes to celebrating in front of the big screen.